Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are currently traveling around Australia in our ute and new slide on camper. In this video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of our new camper. It's a Tommy camper. And yeah, we're gonna give you the details, show you the outside, the inside. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the video. So if you are new to the channel, I did a video, it was a few months ago now, walking you through our Ranger and our old camper, which was a Treon camper. We still have the same ute, our Ford Ranger, which is the extra cab, which we absolutely love. And we've sorted the back storage out now in the, in the ute so we can have our cameras and really good organization. On the back of the ute, uh, you may see something a bit different. This is the Tommy Campers S6 model. So Tommy Campers, the company is based in Ballarat in Victoria. And yeah, we absolutely love it. So starting with the outside and we'll go inside uh, later on. So keep watching because I know everyone wants to see the interior. So on the outside here, you have the 230, I believe it's a 270 awning. We actually haven't opened it up yet but I think it wraps around um, to cover the back door as well, which is awesome. And that was all installed by Tommy as well. So this is this camper is four years old, so it looks absolutely amazing for the age of it. And yeah, we absolutely love it. They, this one is the, uh, obviously the, the darker color. There is a white version of this as well, but we absolutely love this color. And yeah, I think it goes really well with the contrasting of the ute. And yeah, this is, the bit we love the most. So if you want to know the why and why we changed, that'd be a separate video, but we did think about many different setups we could have gone with. And yeah, we've always loved the Tommy and one just happened to be available at the right time in the right place. So yeah, shout out to the family who we purchased this from. They were super nice and really helped us fit it to the tray. So hopefully they've subscribed and watching this. But this is one of the favorite bits of the Tommy camper for me anyway. Uh, Rach behind the camera you can probably give her favorite bits, but yeah, we can talk about that. So it's almost like a canopy, right? So this is the kitchen. We have the Engel fridge, which is actually quite small. It's quite small, but you can actually fit a surprising amount in there. Keeps your beers cold. And yeah, we got enough food in there probably for the next few days. Top off milk, so you can have a small milk. But um, yeah, it's actually really good. And make, <laughs> we need to make sure we click that in again because uh, someone didn't do it the other day and the fridge got a bit warm. It was me. Then over here, this is the 12 volt kit from Tommy. This is awesome. We're already at 13.6, which I believe is 80 or 90% range. Yeah. Um, 80 or 90% battery, I can't remember, but yeah, we have the DC to DC plugged in. So when we're driving, it charges the ute really well. The master switch. But what we love about this kitchen area is it's all sealed in. So when you're cooking, there's like a couple little holes, but um, yeah, when you're, so there's a lot of flies here. Um, when you're cooking, it's, you know, you can have this open in the evening time, have the lights running and all the bugs don't go inside, which is important for H and me. So just dropping the kitchen down, it's just two little hooks here. So yeah, in the kitchen area, this is brilliant. You literally just fold this down. This is your bench top which is good to go. Lots of organization. These TC boxes are great. One of my favorite things in the Tommy is the beer cossies. So maybe we can do a giveaway. No, we're not, we're not gonna do a giveaway. Yeah, this is brilliant. So our food storage, cutlery, our cooker. We use a $20 Kmart cooker. It works really well. If you know the cooker, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's brilliant, it's simple. We could, could get a double burner, but we like the storage of food and we can always use our old jet boil. We have this jet boil for coffees and stuff. But we do have our older jet boil, which isn't a jet boil, but uh, yeah, we can use that to boil water and if we need to cook at the same time. Yeah, this is brilliant. Really good workbench, pull out sink as well, which is pretty cool. And that's where we keep our tea towel and washing thing. That slides away. And yeah, this is awesome. What else do we have in here? Oh, up here, I won't grab it out, but if you could just hold the camera up, please, Rach. So up here, if we unfold these, in there is actually a table, which is a great use of space. Just slides out, 
But yeah, it's a great place to keep the table kind of out of the way and that goes under the bed. Um, and yeah, we just keep wipes up here, which works really well. And our speaker. And there is a kitchen roll holder up here. We did have the kitchen roll on there, but we're not sure if it, because the kitchen roll was at the end or, or um, what the reason was, but basically the wind kept catching the kitchen roll and blowing it off. It actually blew the whole kitchen roll off. So it kind of un, unwound on the, uh, on the kitchen roll holder. So we didn't use that, just use it there. But yeah, you could hang a tea towel over there, anything like that. Um, it's pretty, pretty handy. And yeah, the 12 volt system's brilliant. It has like USBs, so you can charge your phone, um, or cameras or anything. And then it has some 12 volt cigarette sockets um, or ciggy sockets, I think they're called in Australia. So yeah, yeah, it's cool. And then this works really well, like our soap and everything. We have cling film and yeah, so pretty, pretty straightforward really. So we also have a water tap here. So you just turn that, water can come out and that's a really useful place for the water tap and it's super easy to use. So yeah, good water tap. I think, we, I think it's a 75 litre water tank as standard on the Tommy. You can have an additional water tank. A thought for a future video, let me know in the comments, our dream wish list for a Tommy. I was thinking about it earlier, like if we were to design a Tommy ourselves and we got this second hand, what would we put in it and why? So yeah, if you think that would be a good video, let me know in the comments. All the fuses are easy to access. And what, what we love about the Tommy is, honestly, it's incredible. You know, put up on the side of the road, having a coffee or a tea, making a sandwich, you can do it all from here. And yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant. So great design, Tommy, it's, we love it. I think it's great. Cause everything's here, right? You got your mugs, you got your jet boil, you got your water, milk for the, for the teas and coffees. If you want to play a quick game of Uno, you know, from the side of the road. We need to determine who's better at Uno. It's, it's easy, so it's there, access. So in terms of like kitchen access, this is absolutely amazing. So that just folds up like that. And you just put these two bits of, I guess that's some sort of cord, like yeah, stretchy cord, and that's it. That's the kitchen. And then to seal up, you just pull that down, turn these, shut these. All these uh, you can lock. Um, so we have keys for those. And just to show, people might be interested actually how it actually attaches to the ute. So these clasps are absolutely brilliant. Uh, it literally just fit, fit it perfectly. Well, with that, I won't say their name, but thank you for the person who um, helped us with this. Not everyone wants their name on YouTube, do they? But yeah, I really appreciate it, mate. You did such a good job. Uh, he actually drilled a hole through the bracket so it fitted our ute better. And you can see around the back here actually, it's actually on decking. So this is uh, decking with some, um, yeah, with uh, a ute tray mat on either side. And we have five of those planks along because we have a slight lip on our tray. So we just need to raise it up. But yeah, thanks again, if you're watching this video for help, if you help with that. Honestly, it was absolutely unbelievable. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, around the back here, that's the ladder and the door to get in. We'll go inside in a second. And then on this side, it's quite similar to the other side, minus the kitchen. So you can open this up and it's still a work in progress, bear with us, but this is quite fun to see that we've had this a week today. So one week anniversary and we're living on the road. So this has um, been a busy week, but this is just basically like our, you have your bathroom down there. So you, we have a toilet. This is Rachel's gym, I guess our gym and toolkits. We have like weights and stuff under there. This is like kitchen and towels, just in a box. This is the garage box and just extra food, our soda blanket and the water tank is there as well. And you fill the water up from here. But an awesome thing, you probably can't see it that well, is there is a water gauge there as well. So you can actually see how high the water is. That, that's actually really helpful. Like the other day we weighed ourselves and we could see how much water we had um, and we are underweight, which is brilliant. So even with a GVM upgrade on our ute, we are close to our GVM. We do have a bit to spare, but um, yeah, just a bit of an FYI there. If you are thinking about putting any sort of camper on the back of your ute, I think a GVM upgrade is gonna be essential in most cases, unless you have um, your Land Cruiser 
and you upgrade the springs. Like the Ford Ranger's got a really good GVM and yeah, luckily we've got the Ute with the upgrade. So yeah, we have air airbags under there as well. So we could always increase the pressure there if we need a little bit more height on the Ute tray. But um, yeah, our Ute's also got a two inch lift. So uh, yeah, it can be a bit tricky for Rach to close the doors, but we're going to get Rach a step. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the garage. Pretty simple. This is the back of the seat. And you can also see the under bed drawers here, which slide out from inside. Now, another one of our favorite features about the Tommy is how easy it is to open. So we're pretty transient travelers. We don't like to stay in one spot for pretty much a night, I'd say. So if we jump up here, Rachel normally does this actually. So it's just one latch here. Side steps a really good idea with a Tommy, I would say, because it makes it so much easier to, to get up that high. Then around this side, there is another latch. So we'll do the second latch. That's pretty simple. Oh, one thing here is the, um, the flies are getting a bit out of control. So we'll go inside. But um, this is the, yeah, the Anderson plug. It goes into the Enerdrive DC-DC charger. And yeah, there's just those two clips. There's one at the back as well. Then we just fold down this ladder. So we pull this ladder down. You can adjust these as well, I believe. We haven't done it yet, but it's probably a little bit, probably needs to go up a little bit um, just because I ute so high. Cool, so there's a lock here, which you can uh, lock it in. And also you can push it down on the side there. So it stays open, which is really cool. This is a really good uh, bit of space here, which we haven't utilized, but they have these racks. So I've seen people put like hot showers on there or shoe racks or something. So that's something to consider for the future. And yeah, we keep, we store our chairs in here. These have been everywhere with us. These are some very original chairs. The legs fold down, super lightweight. We are gonna upgrade some chairs, aren't we? Yeah, at some stage. But they are great for now. And they haven't let us down. So last clasp as you're getting in, step here. Now Rachel's gonna film from the side. It's super simple. I'm barely using any pressure. Here is the interior of the Tommy. This is our queen size bed so comfortable so this is a proper mattress it's brilliant so i really really like it over here is our bench seat this is something we would definitely get installed on if we were to order a tommy we would definitely get this bench seat it's brilliant and underneath there oh someone just fell down there you can access the outside storage so we showed you earlier there is the um yeah there's the towels and the gym equipment um, and there's the toilet and you can access the toilet from the inside by twisting that, sliding the toilet out. Over here, we're keeping things simple. So just to get us going, we've got these boxes from Kmart and they're brilliant. You can open the front of them like this and that's all our tech stuff. And then the one below is all our toiletries, but they're really cool. And our laptop just happened to fit really well on top. We have these drawers for all our clothes. So that's my drawer, that's Rachel's. Mine's slightly smaller, slightly smaller, but it's not too small. You pull both these down. It's quite hard to do with one hand when I'm holding the, the camera, but you pull those down and your the drawer slides out. And if you are thinking about a setup, drawers are so important for access. Like they make accessing clothes just, yeah, much, much easier. So then over here we have, um, this is the back of the kitchen. So yeah, this is where um, you can use it as like a little table, just kind of use it as like a random table. We haven't really thought of what to do with that yet. We do put our coffees on there in the morning, we have, to have some coasters, came with a couple of inbuilt yeah, cup holders, which is nice. And our shoes are just down there. We haven't utilized that space too well yet, but I think I'm, I'm gonna build or buy some sort of shoe rack for down there as well. Yeah, oh, up here we have a fan. It doesn't work, so I need to figure that out. Um, it doesn't turn on, so. I'm sure it's something to do with the electrics or fuses or something. I've looked at that. Then we also have some lights in here as well, which are really good. So the lights work. And this roof is honestly amazing. So this roof really is very well insulated, especially in Australia, you get a lot of sun. And yeah, it's, it's really nice to have a solid roof where it reflects the heat. The top of the roof is actually, uh, I think it's like a white plastic material. Don't actually know the material, but um, it's a white reflective material, so it really re reflects the sun, which is nice. Look at the windows. I mean, you have four of these windows, so you get 
you know, panoramic views of the, the ocean. We're just on the York Peninsula at the minute in South Australia. And look at all the views you get all around. So it's just brilliant. Some pockets over there next to the bed. So you can put your phone and your water in there. That's really nice. There's one on either side. We don't have any USB points in here. We just charge our phones when we're cooking or we have battery packs. You can use those in here. But there's something I would get inside here. That's it. So as you can see, yeah, I'm over six foot just. And me and Rach can both stand in here quite comfortably. You can sit two people on the S6 version pretty comfortably as well. Yeah, they do have an S4 for dual cabs and an S8 for single cabs. Obviously you can have, you can have them on different utes depending on the tray size, but that's the, the sort of general guide and you could have you know, an S6 on a single, single cab and have an extra like storage box or something like that. But yeah, we absolutely love it. Hope you like it too. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, if you wanna know why we switched campers, let me know and I could create maybe another video. Yeah, if you did want to know that, let me know in the comments. And yeah, we're absolutely loving the Tommy so far. It has these metal bars built in, so it actually pulls the canvas in when I close it, so it's super easy to, to close. And yeah, that's it for this video. So if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because we're currently on the York Peninsula. It's absolutely beautiful. The sun's just coming out and yeah, it's gonna be some awesome episodes coming up. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.